Hey family, it's Pastor Carrie, and it is Tuesday, which means that it is our time for our daily inspiration. And I'm so glad that you are here. I pray that your week has been off to a phenomenal start, that you are energized, that you are inspired, and you are pushed to really make this one of the best weeks of your life. Listen, on behalf of our senior pastor, Dr. Jamal H. Bryant, and your entire New Birth family, we are so glad that you tune in with us 1230 every day of the week, but I'm especially happy when you tune in on Tuesdays and I pray that you are blessed. Listen, we have been focused on investing in yourself and that is really our theme for the entire month. But if you would allow me this Tuesday, I want to do something different. As you all know, our babies have gone back into school and our babies, our children, our youth, our college students, high school, you name it, they have begun to start school really last week and this week. And I wanted to take a moment during my 15 minutes to really just pray and cover them uh, as they go back in school, not just our children and youth and young adults, but also the parents. I want to cover teachers and administrators, everyone who is connected with going back to school. So if you all would allow me, I want to be able to do that for our 15 minutes today. And then next week, by God's grace, I'm going to jump right back into investing in yourself and we're going to walk through what that means. So wherever you are, I want you to just give me some hearts. I want you to give me some likes. I want you to join me in prayer right now. Now, as a matter of fact, I would like for you to type the last name of your child, of your young adult, of your high school student, of your middle school student, your teen. You might even have someone that are, that's in college. I want you to type their last name right now in the chat so that I can begin praying for them. Hallelujah. I want you to just begin, even in your own space, begin to worship the Lord, begin to intercede on behalf of your children and not just your children, but even other children. You know, I want you to begin to pray for them wherever you are. Give me some hearts, give me some likes, give me some prayer hands as we begin to take this moment to go before the Lord. I always love, uh, as I am in private intercession with the Lord and sometimes even publicly, I love to lift up scripture uh, before we go into prayer. And I wanna do that today, hallelujah. Wherever you are, just worship the Lord. Wherever you are, just bless the Lord because we know he is good, hallelujah. And we know that his mercy endureth forever. We are grateful to serve the one and only, the true and living God. It is the reason by which we live. It is the reason by which we move, hallelujah. And it is the reason that we have our being. We do not exist, glory to God, outside of the living God. We are his creation. And our sole purpose in the earth, glory to God, is to give him honor and to give him glory for our life. And so we began, put those names in the chat, give me those hearts, give me those those likes. Give me those prayer hands as we begin to go before the Lord. The scripture tells us to train up a child in the way he should go. It says, even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The word of the Lord says, all of your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. He says, hear my sons, your father's instructions and forsake not your mother's teaching for they are graceful garland for your head. Yes and pendants for your neck. The Bible says that children are a gift from God. Hallelujah. They are a reward from him. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. He says, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. He says, children's children are a crown to the age. Yeah. And parents are the pride of their children. The word says, I have no greater joy hallelujah, than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Listen, come on, I hope that you all are praying and listening to the word of the Lord right now. Listen, the word says, oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me, yeah, and keep all my commandments always so that it might go well with them and their children forever. The word says, fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. It says, rather bring them up with with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. The Bible says, for before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, hallelujah. And before you were born, I consecrated you and I appointed you a prophet to the nations. The word of the Lord says, discipline your children and, and they will give you peace of mind and will make your heart glad. Listen, it says, and they will give you peace of mind and they will make your heart glad. The Bible says, these commandments that I give 
give to you today are to be written on the tablets of your heart and press them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. Listen, the word says this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And so today we want to go into prayer as we are believing the will of the Lord for our children, our youth, and our young adults. Father, we thank you today. Master, we glorify you today, Father, because there is no one like you, God, in all of the earth. Oh God, the heavens declare, hallelujah, your glory, for you are honorable, you are righteous, you are holy, Father. And it is our good pleasure to please you. It is our pleasure to bless you. It is our pleasure to talk to you and to come to you in prayer. As a matter of fact, Father, your word says that we can come boldly, hallelujah, before the throne of grace. Your word says that we can ask what we will, Master, and that you would do it for us. And so, God, we come in faith right now, God. Lord, we are connecting all over the world. We are connecting all over this country, God, on one accord, even in this 15 minutes, Father. Believing, God, that while we are yet calling, Master, that you have already answered us. And so, God, we lay our children before your feet today. Hallelujah. We lay every child. We lay every nursery student. We lay every adolescent. We lay every middle school student, every teen, every high school student, every college student. God, we lay them before you today, Master, as they get ready to go back into the classroom, as they are already back into the classroom, God. Lord, we pray for supernatural strength for them, dear God. Lord, we pray that you would anoint them, hallelujah, anoint them from the crown of their head, Master, to the soles of their feet, dear God. We ask, oh God, that you would protect them, dear God. Bless their going in and bless their coming out, dear Lord. Lord, you know the circumstances under which they now have to be educated, dear God. And so, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you would begin to touch their minds, God. Begin to touch their hearts, dear Lord. Give them a peace, Father, that surpasses all understanding, dear God. Father, we pray, oh God, that you would bind the spirit of any anxiety, Master. Bind the spirit of any uh, depression that would try to overtake them, dear God. Lord God, and we speak the peace of God over their minds. We speak the peace of God over their hearts, dear God. We thank you, dear God, that they follow your voice and no other voice shall they hear, God. Lord, we thank you that when they begin to get overwhelmed, dear God, that the comfort of the Holy Spirit would come in and touch them, dear God. Lord, we thank you that they would even begin to declare your name from their lips, dear God, to calm them down and to center them, Father, when they need it, God. Lord, we thank you that their schools are protected, God. Lord, we thank you that we dispatch a host of angels, God, to guard their classrooms, Master, to guard their schools, dear God, that no hurt, harm, or danger would be able to come into them, dear God. Lord, we thank you, dear God, that you are surrounding them with the fire of the Holy Spirit, dear God. Oh God, that they would be creative, dear God. Oh God, that they would be innovative, Father. Oh God, that they would grasp concepts, oh God, and new techniques faster than they ever have, dear God. Lord, we thank you for the geniuses, Father, that you are cultivating, dear God. We declare that no child will be left behind, God. We declare, oh God, that every child, oh God, will come into the fullness of their understanding, dear God, that it will be reflected in their grades, dear God, that it will be reflected in their speech, dear God, and that it will be reflected in their creativity, Father. God, I thank you, oh God, that they are educated in peaceful environments. Yeah, that they are educated in joy, dear God, that their classrooms are not just filled with intellect, dear God, but they're filled with peace and laughter, Father. Oh God, I thank you for strength in their physical bodies, dear God. Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you that no child will go without a meal, God, this semester, dear God. Hallelujah. God, I thank you, Father, that you would provide for them everything that they need, dear God. Lord, I thank you that they have the school supplies that they need, Master. I thank you that they have the electronics that they need, Father. Give them rest and peace while they're at home, God. 
Help them to have healthy meals, Father, when they come, God. Lord, let them not be burdened, oh God, with their life when they show up to be educated, Father. But Lord, I pray that you would begin to give them strength, oh God. Give them the strength to be able to sit in these classrooms all day long. Give them the strength and the stamina, Father, to be able to go forth, dear God. Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, for guarding them, Father. For many of them are the curse breakers in their family. Many of them, hallelujah, are the ones that will shift the trajectory of their families, dear God. And so the burden even on their young lives is so great. But Lord, I know you to be a keeper. I know you to be a sustainer, dear God. I know you to meet the needs, oh God, even of children. And so, Father, I tell you, thank you. Allow your angels, hallelujah, to begin to walk the halls of the school, dear God. Lord, we arrest, oh God, every assignment of the enemy, Father. Lord, we search, we, we issue a warrant in the spirit, Father, for every demonic principality that would come against our schools, that would come against our teachers, that would come against peaceful environments, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, and we dispatch your holy angels, oh God, to rest, rule, and abide in the environment of our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, for they shall rise up, Father, and call you blessed. They shall know who you are, dear God. Lord, your name, Ayarabasukubaya, will reign from generation to generation because you have done this good thing. Father, protect them, Father, from COVID, God in the name of Jesus Christ and any other ailment that comes against them, God, do it in the name of Jesus, not just our children. But Father, I pray that you would protect and cover and keep our parents, God. Lord, only you know, hallelujah, the sacrifices that they have made, oh God, so that their children could be schooled well. Only you know, Lord, what they have to lay down with and what they have to get up with in order to take care of their children only you know, hallelujah, the jobs that they have to go through too and the things that they have to give and sacrifice, only you know. And so, Lord, right now, I ask that you would break the burden of lack over the lives of our parents, dear God. Lord, everything that tries to hold them down, suppress their heart and their mind, oh God, their spirit, oh God, I pray that you would break it now in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, I call forth the breaker anointing in the name of Jesus. God, give strength, give wisdom, God, give courage to our parents like never before. God, give them what they never had dear God, through you, so that they are able to give it to their children, dear God. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin to bring different principles back to their remembrance, God, that they would be able to train their children. God, I pray that every household, God, that their barns are full, hallelujah, and their cups run it over, Father, as they give unto you, Master, I pray that you would give unto them. Meet every need, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, exceed normal God but we ask that you would do exceedingly abundantly above in every household God make sure that the parent doesn't lack so that the child doesn't lack make sure that the peace of God rests on the parent so that the peace of God can rest on the child in the name of Jesus Christ dear God father I come praying for every teacher God I pray for every administrator today in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray for their supernatural protection, God. I pray, God, that you would give them strength in the name of Jesus, God, to do the assignment that you have called them to do in this season, Father. You know the weight, hallelujah, of the work that they do, dear God. You know that it is a thankless job, Master. You know that it is a job that doesn't always pay the best. You know that it is a job, it is a calling, Father, where there isn't always, Lord, this grandiose thing of 
accompanied with it. But Father, we thank you, dear God, Lord, that as they humble themselves, God, to do what you have called them to do, God, that you would meet their needs, dear God, that you would elevate them, that you would bless them, Father. God, I thank you for teachers, oh God. I pray that you would release a new level of creativity over them, God. Help them to be able to teach in a new and in, in a fresh way, dear God. I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would begin to give them new concepts, oh God, in ways that are practical to our children, our youth, our young adults, Father, that they can understand them, dear God. Lord, I thank you, oh God, that we have a new generation of teachers that will teach outside of the box, hallelujah, and that will teach under the authority and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, God. Oh God, I thank you today, oh God, that we have teachers, dear God, that don't want to follow the status quo, Father, but Lord, that will do what needs to be done in, to ensure that our children have the best education, Father. I pray for even our administrators right now. Give them the leadership capacity, Father, that they need, oh God, to lead at a greater level, oh God, to ensure that there is strategy in place, Father, for all of our teachers, for all of our students, and for all of our parents, dear God. Lord God, I thank you, Lord, that you shall be lifted up, hallelujah, even in the schools, God. I thank you, dear God. Lord, that your name shall be glorified even in classrooms, dear God. Anoint every door in the name of Jesus, oh God. Anoint every hall, God, in the name of Jesus. Anoint every desk, Father, in the name of Jesus. Saturate your oil, the oil of the Holy Spirit, oh God, over every school, dear God. Lord God, we bring back, oh God, any dominance of principalities that have tried to occupy spaces, oh God. We revoke their authority in the name of Jesus Christ and we call on the spirit of the living God to do it, to keep them, to cover them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, and we pray, oh God, that COVID, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that it would not have its way in the lives of our children, in the lives of our parents, in the lives of our teachers and our administrators. God, I pray that you would cover. Oh God, I pray that you would protect, dear God. Oh God, I pray that the Holy Spirit would be a force field, dear God, so that the disease does not even impact them, dear God. Lord God, I plead the blood over them, Father, in the same way that the children of Israel, put the blood on their doorposts, dear God. Lord God, I pray for the blood to cover your people, to cover our children, to cover our parents, to cover our teachers, and to cover our administrators in the name of Jesus so that this COVID would pass them by, dear God, that they will not be impacted, dear God, but that they would be kept, oh God, that they would be covered, dear God, and Lord, that they would be kept in the bosom, Father, of your, of your arms, God, and we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because we know that you are an answer of prayers. We thank you, Father, because we know what you are able, hallelujah, to do. We thank you, dear God, that there is nothing glory to God that hindered our prayers today. But Lord, we thank you that they rise to you, hallelujah, like incense, glory to God, and that you hear us. That you hear us, Master, when we call out to you. Glory to God. As a matter of fact, God, you know our voice. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you for the names of the children that have been listed even in this chat, the young adults listed in this chat, college students listed in this chat. God, I thank you. And I pray for a special anointing. I pray for a special blessing. Hallelujah. God, I, I even see in the spirit, oh God, that balances are being cleared, dear God. Some people don't know how they're going to pay for their children to go to school. God, I thank you for balances miraculously coming up to zero in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I decree and declare your blessings and your overflow over the lives of your people, your people who are obedient to you, your people who, who follow you, your people who are with you in season and out of season, your people who tithe and your people who give and your people who trust in you. Lord, we love you. We are grateful for you. We serve the living God. 
We thank you and we honor you today. Hallelujah. For you are good to us. Hallelujah. You are better than life. And we bring everything to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We declare that it is so and that it shall not be otherwise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, wherever you are, I pray that you would continue to just keep your children, your youth, your teens, your college students, your young adults, keep them covered under the blood of Jesus. Continue to call their names out. If you're an aunt or an uncle, I want you to call the names out of your nieces and your nephews so that we are constantly lifting them before the Father, that they go into this school year successful, protected, healthy, sound, uh, and that no word that we have spoken today to the Lord will fall to the ground. Ground. Listen, thank you for, for being so flexible today and allowing me to do something different and cover our, our, our children in prayer. Um, I'm grateful that you have allowed me to do so. I pray that you will continue to do the same. Oh, y'all, I look a mess. Listen, if you want to sew right now, you can do so by using the prompts below. Uh, if you want to join, you might say, Pastor Kerry, we want to be a part of a community of faith that knows the power of prayer, praying for our families and our children and our youth. You can do that right now by also using the prompts below. Listen, I love you. I'm praying for you. And by God's grace, we will be back next Tuesday. Bring your notepad because we're jumping right back into what we were in before so that we're able to continue in our series of investing in ourselves. All right. Bye. I'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful day. I am a tither and a giver. The windows of heaven are open to me and God stops everything trying to come against what God has for me. I declare I am blessed financially and will receive blessings that I cannot contain. I do not worry about lack. I confess God supplies all of my needs richly and abundantly. I choose to sow cheerfully, generously, and I know I will reap bountifully. All my needs are met and I abound in every good work. Because I obey God with my tithes and offerings, the Lord blesses everything I put my hands to. The blessings of God are chasing me and I am committed to do my part as a believer to support my church and expand the gospel, help those in need, and sow seeds that will bless generations to come. In Jesus' name.